But I just had to crystallise a bit eventually. Not properly, I'm going to try it about. You see that glowing, it's definitely got too much butter in. Um, I'm going to definitely cook it until it's far too thick. Then it's crystal spawn because I forgot how to cook it, even though I cooked this recipe about six times before. And uh, it's definitely a lot darker than it usually is. And a lot stronger flavour. Um, I also noticed in, that where it burned was in the corners of the pan where I won't be able to stir, so that's where the dark colours come from. So it might be a good idea getting one a wooden spoon, but one that's got a square edge so you can get right into the corners of the pan to stop that burning. But I think I'm going to make um, a couple of small batches, actually follow the recipe, so aka don't put four times as much butter in as you meant to, and not wait for it to go quite so thick, because look, that's like, that's what we have there is a uh, toffee not fudge and that's probably because i waited for it to go far too thick so what's happened is we just got a big sugar gob and there's not been enough liquid in it for to sort of for you know for liquid something called liquid of crystallization and liquid is actually very important to crystallization when i boiled all that bloody liquid off and it's gone really thick it's not crystallized it's just turning into toffee so that water of crystallization is very important otherwise you're not going to get crystals even though i've kind of sort of got a bit crystally there that's not proper crystals at all it'll probably look a bit crystally in the end but i'm not sure quite what's going to turn out it's just going to be one bloody great lump of toffee which i don't mind particularly but i was after some fudge